welcome back to my channel it is your girl ricky lee here and we are back for another diary of that girl as you guys know i am a senior studying business marketing at the ohio state university on a day like this when i would want more than anything to just stay home for the entire day i'm still showing up still showing out i missed my 8 a.m this morning because i really just needed the morning to myself this evening i need to pack because i'm going to chicago now here's a little secret y'all i don't know exactly where god will plant my feet after the school year but there's a part of me that is really yearning to move to Chicago. I've been several times since my sister moved there a couple years ago. The black excellence that is in the city is insane and it's just the perfect place to kickstart your career. So I've really been thinking about it. But grad school is still in the back of the corner. That's in Richmond but we're also keeping our eyes open and our hearts open and our spirit open to allowing God to order our steps in whatever direction. But yeah, these are what the pictures turned out like last night at the event. I just have to go through the gallery, make my selections, and then put them all into a pixie set web gallery. Every five seconds, I got a presentation to do. Today I have a presentation to do for my entrepreneurship and innovation class. We just did one. Literally deliver all the stuff for the Columbus City Schools project that I've been working on for the past couple of months. On top of that, I had some slides that I need to do for my brand management class, for a discussion board post pre-class, and then another presentation that's due next week. Then I have a presentation that's due next week for my advanced marketing research class. Do you guys hear all of these presentations? Then I had to put together a presentation for my internship. So in total, I think I just told you about like five or six presentations that I've had to put my creative juices into, lots of thought, copy, sourcing images, and making sure everything is lined out really nicely. I'm not exactly the happiest camper these days. I'm actually really exhausted and tired and just burnt out, but I am trying to do the little things to keep myself sane. I had a dream, y'all. A very cryptic, like, odd dream where I was like losing my mind and I was repeating the same phrases over and over again. And I think that was just my subconscious coming out and saying like, girl, you might lose your mind if you don't dial it back or find balance and so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna find some balance i talked about this on my tiktok but i recently got the sephora the outrageous plump effect and this one is in the cooling sensation this has changed the game for me it looks like i actually have lips these days and i love that for me and if i could give you guys any advice it would be to write out a get to do list every single day of like your top priorities that you have to do. So something that is a top priority stays at the top of the list and then as I complete things I move them up. My brand management Tuesday discussion board. I did that. I also did my Thursday one so I can move those down. And then we're going to move up the peer evals because those are due on Sunday. And then my weekly progress report is also due on Sunday. So I'm just like moving everything accordingly. But like... With traditional to-do lists, most of the time you have to write a new one every single day. But what I love about this is I can just lasso it up or down on the list according to the priority for the day. And that just truly keeps me on task because I'm able to prioritize daily what is it exactly that I need to be doing. Like that is the biggest thing you can learn as an adult is that everything is not a priority. You have to prioritize the priorities and priorities change on the day to day. So do not for a second think that just because you planned at the top of the week to do something today, that it is still a priority today because something more urgent may come up. First order for today is to get some food, so let's go. I honestly and truthfully have had enough Chick-fil-A this week to like know that that is absolutely not what is on the menu for lunch today. I just, I can't, I absolutely hate eating out this much. It's also not good for my PCOS. If you're a PCOS girly, then you know, like it is not ideal to be eating out. And I'm in the mood for a coof. I would really love a coof. It's just something about acquiring the coof. Going to order the drink that you know is your drink. Then proceeding to get the drink, shake up the drink, and just experience the drink. All of that is just, it's a ritual at this point, And it's something that I do every single day that I'm on campus. Yeah, at this point, we are overwhelmed, underpaid, and overworked. But, guys, I just finished watching the whole Risa Tisa 
series and I learned a lot from her story. And what I learned was that you cannot rush your moment. So many of us want our moment to be right now. The moment where you find your husband. The moment where you get the dream job. The moment where you have your dream body. And all of these different things. Like we want that moment to be right now. Right? But you cannot rush that moment. That moment is going to come at a time when you are mentally, physically, and spiritually aligned to have that. And also, God has to prepare that person. He has to prepare that position. He has to prepare um, your mind. Like, all of these things to be perfectly aligned so that it can be... A, it can be the blessing that he wants it to be and so when we try to rush our moment and we try to rush into the instance where we have what we so desire so much sometimes we end up you know giving ourselves a curse it's no longer a blessing because the person that is brought to you is not in alignment they are not spiritually well. They are not physically well. They are just still in their toxic ways. God is still working on them. Or the position that you end up fulfilling, the company is crazy, the people are crazy, and they're stunting your growth. And so you cannot rush your moment. You can't rush your moment. And I am someone who has tried to rush my moment, but I'm at a point where I never question God anymore. I don't question why he doesn't allow things to work out with certain men, why he doesn't allow certain things to work out with specific jobs or things that I'm looking for, because every single time I even question for a second, he answers why. And he shows me that this is what I had prepared for you. This is what I was working on for you that I was cooking up in the kitchen while you were too ready and hungry to eat. If you would have allowed me to prepare just what I had for you, you would have been satisfied in the first place. So we're always looking for a quick fix when we need to just wait. Just wait for your moment. Wait for your moment. And I promise you everything that you desire will come to fruition. So if there's a man that you're talking to right now and you feel like he is not the one, girl, don't rush into no relationship with him. Like, because at the end of the day, God is preparing someone who is perfectly designed just for you. Don't rush into a role because it has the title that you're looking for. Because if the company culture is not right, if the manager that you are assigned to is not someone that is looking to instill nothing but wisdom and greatness into you and speak nothing but greatness over you you are not going to be able to grow you are going to be stagnant in that role in that title and there will be no upward mobility so you just have to take a per the perspective that all things are working for your good and your moment is coming it's coming and when the moment comes babe you are going to be in utter disbelief of just how absolutely extraordinary God's writing skills are you're just like wow you had that written in the cards for me for a little old me I just would have never thought can I please just have a bowl of your cream of chicken and wild rice soup to go please um you guys have like a side of fruit okay. mm-hmm and then, can I have a medium drink? I put a little bit of the passion iced tea in there.
We didn't have to do so much of like showing the actual products, like how it will work or like um, what the app interface will look like because that's the next presentation, which I was hung up on a lot. 12.34 now, I need to go to my advanced marketing research class and in there I have to do another presentation. So. Very fun stuff. Not really fun, but I'm moving and shaking. We are ready to go. It is literally starting to rain right now and I'm not the happiest because who wants to be on campus and it's raining? But we came prepared with this hood even though I don't have an umbrella. But let's just say if this wind starts blowing real crazily, we're SOL. <laughs> on days like this, I want more than anything to go back to my car and just say, it. I'm so tired. Halfway through the day, We've got two more classes. She's gonna have to wait. I wasn't paying attention and I almost went to the wrong building. All these buildings look the exact same, so it's easy to forget which building you have to go to, what room, because they all look the same. Versace cologne. I know that cologne anywhere. What floor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so random, but I texted my professor and I asked him what he thought of my billboards. And he said, look sharp, I would use the first billboard. Did you guys share the link in the Chat. Group mates. <laughs> we're in here slaving, working hard. We don't know what we're doing. But I just, I don't know how from $200 you can go to 20 something thousand dollars. Like, is there an equation that we put it into? It's, that's why I'm like, okay, so it's like you take into account the brand, obviously, and like the consumer segment. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then the package like itself is probably gonna be a couple of thousand. So I don't know. I guess what's like the base? Like, is there just a base price? I, I mean, there's like usually a base model, and then you add. Uh, so is that the doc from like our first mm -hmm. assessment? Yeah, I'll pull the one from the other day too because that I think like especially today if we can just start getting through like the introduction, the assigned brand model because like mm -hmm. we know that. Highlighting its key features, like we know, like what target segment we're looking for, and like that kind of plays into the, the yeah. positioning, like who we're. What did you guys get on the last assignment? The I usually just go back to. Oh wait, but you had turned it in, so. I think it should submit for all of us. Uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it a, is it like our group submission, the heterogeneous? Yeah. 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 It was ten out of ten. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It was originally eight out of ten, but I saw she changed. Okay, yeah, I had an 8 out of 10 on mine. Let me see if she changed it again. Do we have to present this presentation? Yes. Yeah, we do. Hmm. Next Thursday. I think it'll just be easier for all of us to do that. So I think so too. I didn't like, think she could, like, I'm surprised she said one person could do it. I'd feel bad if one person was so out there. Like, yeah, I, I would just, like, yeah, I prefer it. Is this supposed to be between 10 and 15? 
Yeah, I think that was perfect. It was it was probably around twelve thirty because yeah. we took a little break. Yeah. yeah. But I think that was solid. Yeah. Alrighty. Hello everyone in VR Arrow. To reintroduce ourselves, my name is Claudia Casey. I'm Ricky Lee. I'm Eric Rodriguez. I'm Luke Lynn. And just a quick reminder on what our product is, is we are an app compatible bracelet that has the ability to detect the nine major food allergies. Now, Ricky will take it off for our marketing strategy. We have decided to employ an omni-channel marketing strategy that will double down <laughs> on our thought leadership in the allergy space as well as build our brand awareness. Also use billboards on major freeways like the I-95 on the East Coast to also spread more word about the um, health metrics that can be found within the Aero application, things like your heart rate as well as your temperature so that you can get allergy detection anytime and in any place. I'm going to try to be quick because it's raining and I don't want my camera to get messed up, but our presentation went well. Everyone loved our slides. Um, my classmates were like, when you guys were presenting, I was like, wow, 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 wow. Like, they looked really good, so I feel good. That's always a compliment to me when people love my slides. I'm trying to keep my camera from getting wet, but I have to work on another group project now, y'all, at 6 o'clock. I just came to Baby Bob real quick to grab myself some food and then I have my meeting with my group I like this. I liked all of them because you like changed it up for every single color. Yeah. Okay, then I guess yeah, I kind of like it. I These look really so. good. I like the mix of print and out of house and like all the different marketing promotions you have on here. And then going over the overview of what Rolex is on the fifth slide and then going into more imagery of like the older vintage watches for the history slides. Since everything else, like there's thousands of images of what they look like now. Good morning, y'all. We are headed to Chicago in like five minutes. I packed my bag. Yes, I still use my Vera Bradley um, carry on from like seventh grade. We got the nail glue because we have to pop back on quite a few nails once we get on the road. But in this purse, we have my computer and my iPad because we're going to be reading and stuff on the road. I also am going to bring this bag. This is my Tori. She's so cute. She goes with everything. So I'm just putting her inside of the purse. And then we have my carry-on. Okay. I know how we're going to do this. Not me having to talk myself through this. Okay, the Vera has this huge strap. So we're gonna cross that around my body so we can like, at no point, accidentally have this slip off my shoulder. Then we're gonna put this on my shoulder, right? Then we're gonna put both coats on this arm, put my phone on top of the bag, and then carry the Dunkin' Donuts. And now we're ready to go. Turn the lights off. So at home? Yeah, I'm about to leave now. I thought you said you had a meeting at 12.30. I'm already like a few minutes behind, but it's okay. Right now, we're getting some gas before I get on the road. As I told you guys before, I'm driving to Cincinnati first, and then we're driving to Chicago. And then I have to lead a social media training at 1.30 for my internship, so that shall be fun. I'm supposed to hop on the call with her at 1.20, so I'm just like getting this together. I'm probably just going to go to a Starbucks to take the call, and then I'll drive home because the Starbucks isn't too far from my house home. It's 12.02, so I'm doing pretty good on time. But I just need to make sure that I'm in the city, sitting down somewhere by 1.30. Like, that's a must. Called Girl Math. Since I won't be able to do this while I'm driving, let's do it while we're stopped. It's $31 to fill up my tank. Does anyone else, like, miss COVID when gas used to be, like, $25 to fill up your tank? Now, I drive an SUV. It's a little bit more expensive to fill up my tank but not too much on a bad day it's cost me like 42 bucks to fill up my tank 
which actually is not that bad compared to what I've heard some people have to pay for their gas. We're about to hit the road, y'all. This week, it's saying it's going to take me an hour and 54 minutes to get home. Y'all, this is not good news. I'm not going to get home until 2 o'clock. What the heck? This is why you prepare yourselves, guys. Don't be like me and cut it short. I should have left hours ago, but I was just feeling so tired this morning. And I had the craziest week of my life of like eight presentations, all these things I needed to do. I had to attend an event and take photos for my internship. Like there was just so many different things that I was obligated to do this week. And I was just exhausted. So I wanted to, you know, take back some of my sleep and just rest for a little bit this morning to try to act as to if my boss and i let her know the kind of circumstances that i'm under i also let my mom know that i would need to stop at another um like a starbucks on the way home in king's mill and if you're from cincinnati you know that king's island is like 25 minutes out from the city so i'm gonna stop in king's mill at a starbucks host the call and then after that i'm gonna be on my way home to my house that is one thing as an entrepreneur as a worker like you keep like giving people excuses is not enough like just like one of those things like even if something doesn't fall into place as it should i always make sure to not very solution oriented because nobody wants to have to deal with your inconveniences. You get what I'm saying? Like, an inconvenience on your end does not constitute an emergency on someone else's end. So, that's just that. I Can you hear me okay? Hopefully you're muted right now. But I did do a quick introduction on you. Hello everyone, it's so nice to meet all of you. I'm not sure what Rachel told you, but, but when I was 16, I started the digital marketing agency. It's called Rookie the Agency. And over the past five years, I've served a variety of different clients from nonprofits to corporations, helping them to um, build their brand identities and really feel confident and strong about uh, the content that they're producing and sharing. And so for today's presentation, I'm just going to give you guys a masterclass on ways that you can expand your content. So this guide is going to serve as a tool to help you better understand how to make your beauty use of the dream destination. And we will cover content creation tools, best practices, and even photo capture ideas for lighting is key. On average, videos that have a lot more lighting capture a lot more engagement. Because if you've ever noticed, if you capture a video in low light settings, it looks really grainy, it looks dark, and that's not very interesting for future beauty boosters. You really want to make sure that you're enticing them and that the quality of the videos look good because that makes them feel like the quality of their things are really good. Now moving on to our content ideas, you have pre-event, during event, and post event. These are very pivotal moments. Putting on a really nice outfit, wearing something that's colorful, that kind of showcases what it's going to be like when people show up. These are all touch points that are going to showcase the aesthetics of the Beauty Juice brand. Doing swag bag sneak peeks, so showcasing what is all going to be included in the swag bags at your events can also be another way to entice people to purchase a ticket. Doing an itinerary insider, showcasing like what is to be expected on the itinerary. So let's pause this for a second. Y'all, I literally live a crazy life, and I'm not even done with all the work that I need to do. I still have a presentation that presented with my group last night for, for my Rolex project. I have to finish my slides for that by Sunday night, so it makes sense for me to just do it while we're in the car driving to Chicago, right? And then I also have to finish uploading the gallery for the Beauty Boost event that I took pictures at Wednesday night because I told her I would get those to her by this afternoon. But take it from me, guys, do prepare yourself. Think of every worst case scenario and prepare for that. Don't think that you are Miss 
independent and everything happens your way the way you want it to and nothing wrong can can happen because there are variables that you can't even account for that can throw you off of your game and today is a testament to that we were supposed to hit the road at two o'clock i'm not going to get to my mom until 2 40 now because i have to make that stop in lebanon to sit at that starbucks and host that training but <laughs> Tell him again, tell him all She's gone on me, this price is wrong When I start to feel crazy, I look around me and I'm like, okay, things are crazy. Like, let's get it together. So we're doing some spring cleaning. We're getting things together. It's March 1st. You need to do some spring cleaning as well. We're also going to do a little blow up, y'all, because, you know, graduation is literally like 65 days away. So I'm trying to keep it keep it on lock okay grab pictures alone are like 750 dollars one of the dresses that i want is like a hundred dollars from club london and then i bought this other dress and i want y'all to tell me what you think this is one of the dresses guys i actually bought this for valentine's day but i didn't wear it on valentine's day i ended up wearing like this feather dress but this is red it's more of a deeper red so this matches my school theme these types of dresses are always so flattering on me i still haven't tried it on yet but if you guys want me to try it on, please let me know because I would love to try it on for y'all. Yeah, I have this dress and then I'll show you the other one. It's actually going to need to get tailored because it's just a little big. But it's white and it's also bodycon. I tried it on. She's very cute, but she definitely can be tailored just a little bit to be a little more flattering. But it has all these flowers up at the top. I can wear my grad cap and I was thinking about getting a velour grad cap, like a velvet grad cap. Not the ones that are like for law school or your doctoral degree, obviously, because I'm not graduating with that. But it's literally just a grad cap. It's velvet. And I wanted to put pearls on it to say she did that. She believed she could, so she did. I'm thinking about putting something like that on my grad cap because there's some specific shots that I put on my mood board that's like super cute. But let me know what you guys think about that maroon dress that deep red dress because I really like it. I think it's super cute and I think it'll break up like the white the black dress that I'm wearing that's going to be like an off the shoulder blazer dress and then this one so they're all very classy super cute looks that show off the the body yachty <laughs> my closet is currently busting at the seams and I needed to really just organize everything one I need to do laundry because a lot of my clothes were dirty I have lots of sets and a lot of you ask me questions about my sets. These are literally all of the sets that I have. These are just the neutral colored ones from cream to brown and like a few green ones. I also have a lot of black sets and sets that are colorful and white. White isn't in here either. So we have quite a lot of workout like athleisure clothes that I like to keep organized. Because I used to organize all of my clothes according to the type of clothing that it was so like sets would be together tops would be together 
um, and it would be color coded within that area but I found that I was having to use multiple drawers for that same thing because I have tons of sets so instead of continuing to do that I'm just going to organize by color no matter what piece of clothing type it is we're going to organize by color so all my gray and black is going to be in a drawer all of my colorful we have all of my neutrals in a drawer and then we'll put all of my yoga pants out inside of a bin a basket out there because that's like the number one thing I go for is either a set or a pair of leggings or like yoga pants. So I bought my yoga pants and sweats right here, black yogas, and we're going to put that right there. And then I have like a couple of jumpsuits. So down in this drawer is like all my black stuff. So this is just gray. So I'm going to fit my gray stuff in here as well. I've been collecting a lot of silky sets. I just bought like a few off of Sheen. They have really good ones. And then I have these linen sets. I have one in white and I also have a set in orange. So I'm going to put all of my jammies in here and then my underwear and my bras and like undergarments are in this top drawer. This top drawer is a mess. We'll address that another day. Well, here I have all of my clothes that can be hung up. I really don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm like sitting all of these on my couch. But for now... We at least have all of this other stuff put away. Special tops, fun skirts and stuff like that that are really hard to hang up. I have a actual bin inside of my closet that I just keep them in. tops and skirts and stuff inside of it my apartment does not have a coat closet and I really wish it did because I have like 5,000 coats so when I was in Chicago guys I picked up this super cute trench she's a little heavier she's actually pretty heavy but she's really lightweight for a spring jacket and she's literally so cute like she was a hundred dollars but she was worth the hundred dollars oh and life update guys women's history month like shout out to women okay shout out to all my ladies so you guys know i have that girl radio my podcast and i am celebrating women's history month by highlighting all of the women that i believe are that girl in their respective industry i started it off really strong with Brittany antoinette and i interviewed her actually this afternoon it went so well guys so if you're not already subscribed to that girl radio make sure to do so it's available on literally every platform you can listen to podcasts and the conversation y'all was literally an hour and 45 minutes like i felt like it was shay shay's club it was so good there was no moment where the conversation was dragging or like we were just rambling talking about just anything like it was actually very substantive conversation we really dissected her journey to becoming the woman that she is today how she's repaving you know the black wall street and just so many different nuances to being a creative and how she's building her own table where she's allowing other black women to sit and thrive so i'm really excited about the conversation so if y'all are not tuned into that girl radio make sure you make sure you get on the wave now before it takes off because this is something that i've always wanted to do talking having my own talk show like that's something that i dream of every single night like if i could do if i could do that girl radio and nothing else for a living i would be completely full so i'm trying to build that scale that we did january that was amazing and now we're rolling out this women's history month series and i'm like really excited because i love to talk to the girlies and hear about their their path to success but for my content girlies out there you know the struggle with these with the sony zb1 to be specific the camera battery like does not last so i got this before i had the one where you would stick the charger um stick the batteries in it like this and they would like come up sometimes it wouldn't be charging and one of the things was like kind of broken so i could really only charge two at once but what i love about this is it has these little led lights so it tells you 
if it's charged or not it'll be red if it's not charged all the way and it'll be green if it's charged all the way obviously the, the leds don't only come up once you have it plugged in but i love that it can close so i can ensure that all of my batteries are safe because a lot of the times I would want to be ch like charging my batteries on the go in my car and as my car is moving around the batteries are moving around and so they're not getting charged but with this this closed case and when I'm traveling I literally can keep all of my charged batteries in here keep them safe away from debris and all the other craziness that's in my purse so I will have this linked in my Amazon storefront as well for the other content girlies but yeah that's what's going on today Make sure y'all start cleaning out your stuff. Get on your Zoom and clean up. Let's go. cozy earth pjs and i washed my pillowcases because i want to make a habit of doing that at least once every week washing the ones that i actually use um i have the cozy earth sheets they're pretty cozy guys not gonna lie but as i'm entering my grown woman era if you guys have any suggestions for like really good sheets ones that you recommend that are available on like amazon please drop them in the description box and if anyone is a thread count queen you know what's the best of the best what's like hotel quality um luxury hotel quality please let me know because i love to sleep like a baby and i already struggle with like falling asleep and stuff so having really quality sheets um bedding and all of that could be really helpful for your girl so these pillows give the perfect chop and i got these from jc penny i'll link them down below because i've never had a pillow chop so perfectly my pillows out in my living room aren't these european inserts but if they were it would make my life a heck of a lot easier because when you don't have the perfect insert, it's hard to get that good chop and it's also hard to get them to keep their shape because they take on the form and when I lay on my couch, I like to like lean into the pillow. And obviously that's not the best thing for me to do because it's ruining the form of my pillow. This one is not the same insert, so look try to chop it will chop but like it's skimpy it's not as fluffy like it's flat so I'm waiting to replace that insert something else you see this looks crazy we chop it and it's good overall I'm feeling really good we did really good tonight we put all our clothes away washed my pillowcases replaced them put them down got real cozy in the PJs and now we're gonna read a devotional. At night, I like to read this devotional and then I have another devotional that's in my bathroom that I put in my bathroom with every intention of reading it in the morning. It's two in the morning, so it's technically March 2nd, but we're gonna do March 1st. It says, overcoming, so you guys ready? Regret and dread go hand in hand and they are both rooted in fear. 
Regrets cause you to fear the consequences of past mistakes and dreads cause you to fear the consequences of future mishaps. Both assume the worst. Neither is from God. It's a freeing revelation to know that God offers us victory in the midst of difficulty. We are going to make mistakes, but God can redeem them and even use them to educate us for the future. If you're afraid of your past or afraid of your future, you'll be frozen in a dysfunctional present. There is only one resolution, and it comes straight from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, on Him, for He cares for you. Cast those cares off of your life and never pick them up again. Today's thought. Your mistakes are not greater than God's mercy. All things are possible with God. And that was so timely because there are so many things that I am dreading and that I'm also really anxious about because obviously the future is unknown. But there are a lot of things that I have been thinking about as far as my college experience that I've been regretting, as far as like me living in this apartment that I've been regretting, like me not taking up all the opportunities to just be grateful that I'm even in this space because who knows what's to come next. And it's just put me in such a dysfunctional present because I want to bask in all of the amazingness that is of me still being in school, me still getting my degree, me being a college student. But I'm also dreading my future and trying to get a grasp and a hold on like what that the next step is going to be. And because I don't know what's next, it's been like driving me crazy. But I've been in this very space before. I was here my sophomore year and I had two different job opportunities at my disposal and I could make two decisions. I could choose to go to the to the job that was going to make me quote unquote a lot of money or I could go chase after my dream and I ultimately ended up trying to do both. Both opportunities presented me with so much information and just really allowed me to put a mirror up to myself and see what I wanted to do and what I'm capable of. So I'm grateful that I chose to do both. But at the same time, I learned in that space that it's always better to choose me. You get what I'm saying? And when something doesn't feel like me, I shouldn't force myself to choose that. I shouldn't because of my fears and anxiety of like what's next and looking ahead and seeing that something may not be stable, something may not be the most reliable choice, I still should choose it anyway because that's an exercise of faith. You get what I'm saying? Choosing your plan A is a complete exercise of faith and choosing not to even employ a plan B is an exercise of faith. And I feel like I've been in such a dysfunctional space for the past few months because I've been trying to put eggs in every basket. I have a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I feel like as a believer, I'm showing God that I, I don't have faith because I'm trying to line up so many best case scenarios if something doesn't work out. And so in my quiet time with God today, I just reminded myself that, you know, I can cast all my fears and my worries aside onto him and just do the work and and be me and choose me and as long as I do that day after day after day he will align me with what is exactly for me so for anybody who is in a transitional period in your life right now where you're dreading your past and fearful about the future cast all of your worries aside and just trust in God and know that he will order your steps and what is next and what's ahead is like so bright and beautiful and it's better than anything you could ever imagine and so it's really hard to be in that type of space like trusting right of like what's next but i feel like it's gonna be good for you and also for me so if you guys are interested in this devotional i actually picked this up from barnes and noble 
at the start of the year and it's been my little bestie. I kind of fell off in the month of February with reading this, but I'm glad to be getting back into the practice of reading it before bed. So good night guys. I will see you tomorrow. And we are on our way to go get our nails done. I am big on with everything that you do, doing it with love and care. And I can't do things with love and care with my hands looking like this. So I am going to go get them done. I haven't decided if I want to do red or if I want to do pink again. But let me know what you guys are doing for spring nails. I know some girlies like to do fun colors. I'm not the type of girl. I normally just stick to what I stick to. I go about my business. But right now I'm just putting on my little lippy and I've been loving this and I've also been really loving their plumper gloss that has the cooling sensation with the silver cap. She is an icon but right now I'm just putting on my little lippy getting the ombre effect going mm -mm -mm. so we can have the perfect lip. On the agenda today we are getting the nails done. I wanted to vacuum my floors of my car because I already cleaned it out last week and I have this big huge Kate Spade tote bag because I um it's like huge it's ginormous and it's full of shoes because I have so many shoes in my car y'all it's ridiculous I have tons of hair from hair appointments in my car like from my last sew-in in my car like it's just a lot of stuff going on in that back seat and I put everything that I need to bring inside of my apartment in the back, but until everything that's in this apartment has a rightful place to sit, I'm not going to bring anything in from the car. And that's the reason why my car has been a mess for like the past six months. I literally haven't cleaned it out since spring semester, um, and it's just continuously gotten messier and messier. So I cleaned out my front seat, cleaned out my back seat, and I cleaned out my trunk. And I like literally threw away anything that I did not need. And so now we're to a point where I feel like the car is solid. Actually, that just reminded me because I bought some I bought some car air fresheners for my car. So I'm going to put these inside of it so my car can smell chef's kiss. Another trip or trick for the girlies with the car, you can put a small spaces breeze thing inside of your car and I swear just put both of them under your seats and it will emit the smell for months like I did that when I first got my car and it lasted me like six months six to eight months at a time so if you don't want to keep buying these for like five six dollars just buy the small spaces and put them under your seat and it will have your car smelling so good because it's meant for like bathrooms you know closets stuff like that I also keep a small spaces inside of my um, shoot organizer out there and it just keeps my house smelling really good when you walk in did not get my hair done but I did just do it this morning I used my style image airflow dryer I got mine from the JCPenney website I don't know what other retailers carry it but it is like the best hair tool on the market right now it literally takes me like five to not even ten minutes like three to five minutes to do all of my hair I just curl it and it just looks gorge and I don't really like uniform curls but you can achieve both uniform curls really bouncy bedhead curls you can just achieve a variety of different things with it and that's why I love it so much I have on these leather pants that I showed y'all yesterday um, from Fashion Nova there and then I just have on this slinky white top from pretty little thing it's literally so cute and I have on my daily stack movement watch a clover bracelet and then I have on my Kate Spade bracelet that looks like Cartier and then for my necklace I have on my clover necklace and my cross and then my earrings are from H&M yeah this is the look for today um, I'm really excited because I'm gonna bring out the trench the trench is just so cute like who doesn't love a good trench baby like it's really giving I'm excited that we get to do these like get ready with me moments now that I've gotten this corner in my room together. My bag for the day is just this Tory Burch bag. It has the, it has the super big chain. I absolutely love it. Like she's so cute. It has this skinny strap. I'm not a skinny strap girl. I never have been. Like I absolutely hate them. So I'm thinking about ordering a different strap on Amazon. Um, I've been eyeing one in particular. It's like 
white and black but now that I think about the fact that this is something I might want to wear with like you know navy or something I might just get a tan and white strap so it can still be universal and can be worn with navy or black or brown I already booked the appointment it's for 12 30 and it's just 12 04 right now but I'm hungry y'all I need something to eat a little bite bite I am feeling very floral I've been feeling this way for the past few weeks I've been rocking my flower bomb perfume because it just smells divine like you just smell like a sweet treat who doesn't want to smell like a sweet treat you get what I'm saying so if y'all are on the market for a different fragrance get you some flower bomb let's go get these nails done all right guys we got the little clippy clips I'm about to open this and put them in the core so we can be smelling good you just click it like that and I turn it all the way up I turn it all the way up so we can have the freshest of aromas going through the car I'm a big believer that when you take care of your blessings you will be more blessed and my car is just one of those things that I am blessed with I get to pay a car note I get to be able to afford to put gas in my car and those are things that I do not take for granted so just run the air a little bit so you can start to smell it yeah it smells good honey I'm enjoying it I watched BMF last night y'all so good if you have any other show recommendations that are coming back out let me know but BMF is my show I love me some Da Vinci Da Vinci is like my one true celebrity crush I saw him in the Mary J Blige real love movie and that just solidified for me that he is the love of my life. He's just tall, he's chocolate, he's handsome, like, he's just gorgeous. He's gorgeous. tastes like every day on campus so I found this vanilla sweet cream cold brew we'll see if this is good Having little organizational tools like this so I can keep all my little snacks together and then my fridge light is out I think my fridge is like broken right now so I actually need them to come like within the next 24 hours so my food doesn't go bad but I have these little wire baskets that I keep in here to keep my produce right at top of mine in front of my face and um, my line of eyesight because they have these produce bins at the bottom of the fridge but that makes no sense to me like you need to be able to see it and see the freshness so I keep them in these back baskets so I can see them and then I have this lazy Susan in here that I put my sparkling waters and like kombuchas on I left them in the car because I'm one person and I couldn't bring all of that in by myself but right here is where I just keep that little um, thing full of pouch or like snacks and then I can just grab my snack grab my fresh piece of produce and then normally in here I keep my grapes or strawberries or blueberries or whatever but it's dirty need to clean it but yeah 
Oh my goodness, guys. I'm in here freaking out. Well, by the way, I put my rice onto the stove, so my rice is cooking right now. But I told you guys that I, I recorded yesterday for that girl radio with um, Brittany. I recorded with her on Friday. And we did the whole episode and everything was lovely, of course, because she's amazing. I edited all of the um, audio and everything, got it done, and whew, posted the content, right, to promote the episode that will be dropping this Wednesday. So if you guys haven't already watched it, make sure to watch the episode of the first episode of Who's That Girl on That Girl Radio. But... The at the influencer agency Kensington Gray just followed my account. I've literally been praying for God to bring me a management team. I don't know what will come of this. It's literally just a follow. Like that doesn't really mean much. But the fact that they just followed little old me is insane. Like, you never know what you're doing right now and how that can open up different doors for you. And so the fact that they just followed me, they followed my account, they just followed my account is insane to me. I literally was just running and jumping around because I can't believe they're following me. The Back Row Radio podcast like account only has like a thousand followers. So to know that one of those thousand followers is... Kensington Gray, the influencer agency, is insane. It's insane. They even noticed me. They even noticed me. But guys, we have officially finished cooking our chicken and our sausage with um, the peppers. I kept it in here a little too long, but and I took the aluminum foil off, but I have all the juices at the bottom. And then we have all of our rice up in here. And so the last step is for me to make my veggie. And I think the veggie that I want to make for today is some Italian cut green beans. Y'all pray for me. Pray that I don't die because I'm pretty sure that my oven, I mean, I'm pretty sure that my fridge is no longer working. So just pray that I don't get sick. But I just finished editing the podcast episode for today. And I'm very excited about that. And I told you guys about my little meal prep containers. I have about 60 pieces. I'll show them to you guys because I'm like obsessed. I got this meal prep kit off of JCPenney's website. They're the Bento brand. And there's three different sizes. One of them has three compartments. One of them has none. And then one of them has just two. And they're perfect. It was literally 60 pieces. So every time I do a meal prep, if I'm doing lunch, breakfast and dinner I literally have a container for every single meal which is amazing like if you meal prep you know you know that is like not often this is the brand it's called bent go sorry it looks gray but it's called bent go that is like the best brand I've gotten thus far but um I'll show you guys really quickly what I've been doing so I've just been editing my podcast the audio just um finished releasing and I'm loving this new software I've been using to record my podcast it's called Descript and it literally translates your audio to a script and then from there you can edit the script so like let's say this was a filler word that said um I can literally delete it out and it makes the audio sound perfect and everything is super clear and concise and as you know when you're recording for like a podcast well some of you don't know but when you're recording for like something like a podcast sometimes you can re be repeating yourself a lot sometimes um you have lots of filler words and so just to create more clarity with my podcast episodes especially since i want to scale it i need to make sure that i'm being very clear and concise and i'm getting to the point so i don't lose listeners so I've just been doing that. I also love that in here I can highlight pieces as I'm editing that I want to export as just like salient pieces of content. And I'll also show you guys some of the promo pieces I made. So I've just been making promo content. I pulled the audio like I said and I'll play it for you guys so you can hear. I 
black women have paid me more than any corporate job I have ever had. Black women are mm. the ones who provide me with opportunity. Black women are the reason why I'm even able to have this life. Also created these little graphics to post on the socials. She made this comment that my blackness is what makes me creative. My blackness is what makes me resilient. My blackness is what makes me innovative. So I'm going to make that a carousel post. This is just a very quick and easy way to share what she said this is like a piece of content that i would say is like a shareable piece of content where a lot of people would love to repost this so i'm going to post that and then of course we have the original like announcement i love this like scrapbook appeal i have all the pieces of branding that she's produced and it just looks really good so that's what we've got going on but the fact like look at this look at this kensington gray started following you my heart is beyond full crack open my drink for the night you already know what it is sparkling cranberry lime we'll do March 2nd and March 3rd right now so it says take time to pray be unceasing and persistent in prayer no matter who you are or what you do whether you are a mother, a business executive, a mechanic, or a school teacher, you are probably busy. But no matter how busy you are, be sure to take time to pray and talk to God. If you do, he will hear you and help you. Prayer is something you can do throughout the day, no matter how many responsibilities you have. For example, if you are an exhausted stay-at-home mom who cleans up the house and cares for children all day, just take one minute to be still and say, Oh Jesus, I love you. Strengthen me right now, God. I need some energy. I am worn out. Even something that simple is powerful and gets God's attention. Praying your way through the day allows God to be involved in all aspects of your life. Why struggle when you can have God's presence and help? Your prayer doesn't have to be long or eloquent. It just needs to be sincere. That was a word. I think somebody needed to hear that. Your prayer doesn't have to be long or eloquent. It just needs to be sincere. I need you, Lord, is one of the best prayers to pray. That was March 2nd's devotional. Now we're going to do March 3rd. The title of this one is Your Feelings Don't Have the Final Say. When I am weak in human strength, then I am strong, truly able, truly powerful, truly drawing from God's strength. Depending on the day, we may feel sad, we may feel happy or sad, excited or discouraged on top of the mountain or down in the valley, and a thousand other things. Feelings can be very powerful and demanding, but we do not have to live according to how we feel on a particular day. The truth is that we can learn to manage our emotions rather than allowing them to manage us. My devotional just said something so profound and sincerity is everything. Like God knows your heart and beyond just prayer, when you know that your intentions are pure, it doesn't matter what qualifications you have if you are called. You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter how you present it. It doesn't matter how you say it so long as you are sincere and so many of us are waiting to perfect things we are waiting for things to be imperfect in order to present it to the world and i feel like that devotional although that was not the direct message that is something else that i picked up on that i wanted to share with you guys is that you cannot wait for things to be perfect in order to be impactful because then it's going to take you an eternity a lifetime to show up and God has an assignment for you right now and he's waiting he's testing you because he's waiting for you to show up in the glory that you are right now so many of us are waiting to be the finished good the finished package the perfect package um, so that we can be received and I feel like that message just rang I feel like that message just really spoke into life that you don't have to be perfect to be received. 
you can be received in all of your imperfections and all of your flaws and all of the um, the forms that you are in the season of becoming and that's when you are to be received not when it's perfect God doesn't need perfection to use you so allow him to use you now allow him to use you in your mess allow you to allow him to use you in your depression and your anxiety and all of those things because that's how he's able to bring you into different environments and have impact because anything that's ever impacted me has never truly been perfect. It's been in the most imperfect circumstances that I've been able to receive a really strong message or receive something profound from a person because it wasn't something that they would have necessarily orchestrated. It just by the mir the miracles of God and, you know his doings it, it came together the way in which it did so i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog of me just <laughs> balancing all of the nine thousand things that i have to do on the day-to-day if you enjoy these sort of one-on-one -on -one connection points where i'm sharing with you guys my thoughts and how i like to design and therefore live my dream life make sure to tap into my podcast that go radio that's where i share all of my very intimate thoughts um and you know just perspectives on life and how i'm building what i feel like is my dream life one day at a time and if you're not already following me on social media, you guys can always find me on there. I post lots of fashion videos on my Instagram and TikTok. And on TikTok, I also share little bite-sized snippets of how I'm navigating this world and my faith and my work and so many different things. So make sure to check me out on all of those mediums because I'm there. And I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I hope you love your word as much as it loves you. I hope that you speak the word as much as it speaks over you. And I hope that you touch as many people as you possibly can as you go into the rest of your week. I love y'all and I'll catch you next week. Bye.